Hello everybody and welcome once again to Danny and Sons Real Tech Mod Pack. In this episode, would like to, what I'd like to do is to make um, a greenhouse, but that's going to be a long process, the forestry greenhouse that is, because uh, it's got quite a bit few steps to go through to make it. So that's, as you can see in my, just above my head on the right hand side, the sen season sense is telling me we're getting towards winter. And I'm getting a bit hot here, that's a bit strange isn't it? Let's get out of the way. And have a look at my list. I have to go about 32 blocks away. So the greenhouse. Let's have a look at the recipe for the greenhouse. The greenhouse blocks are are these things here. So we need some cam camouflage paneling. That's not too difficult. That's just planks, dies, and wood pulp. Wood pulp is just basically wood with some water in the carpenter. That's no big deal. We can deal. We can do that. Um, so the panelling aren't a problem. Obviously, slabs aren't a problem, and ingots aren't a problem, but the ash bricks might be a problem. We need ash. Now, to get ash, we have to smelt peat. <laughs> um, what else can we do? We can unpack it. We can do this, the charcoal pile, which is which is quite a long process as it happens. We have a bee that makes it. The fiendish bee will make some charcoal. Uh, ash, that's good. Um, so the best way for us is to actually smelt it. So now, if we go back to that again, peat. Now what's the recipe for peat? I suppose the best thing is we can use a bee. <laughs> but obviously that's a boggy, a boggy peat. Now that one is probably going to take a bit of breeding. We're not there yet. Carpentry can unpack a crated peat and we can use a peat bog, uh, which is farming. So we have to go through uh, a farm from uh, forestry first of all so we have to build a, f a, fo a forestry farm so we need to take in it bog earth which of course we're going to have to make again so that's but that's not such a problem podsil sand dirt and water it's not such a big problem we can make that i think is that so what's the difference between coarse dirt and podsil well we've got a silk to pick we can use we can always pick up our podsil with that i think and we can get get rid of some of that podsil at the same time but of course it comes back again so that's not such a problem so that's how we have to do that so what I'd like to do today is to get on making some farm bricks so we're gonna to have to make some farm bricks which means we're gonna to have to make this which is a thermionic fabricator so we're gonna to have to make a thermionic fabricator first so we need one chest glass doesn't matter what color I don't think it says yellow and that doesn't matter and gold so let's make the thermionic fabricator first uh, I spoke to, I have to got to go to Thermionic Fabricator is, which machine is that one? This one. So I'm missing a bronze casing, sturdy case, we could do that. But I thought I got one made, it doesn't matter, we got extras anyway. So we can now make our thermionic fabricator and we will also need some connectors and whatever else to connect it some power. Uh, <clears throat> I think I'll use it over here. It happens, we've got plenty of power in here. I haven't figured out yet why this is only giving half the amount of power as it should be. So, and I've also put in an LV trans transformer here. So an MV to LV transformer, just a transformer. And the recipe for that's a bit strange. And in fact, <coughs> the graphics have gone a bit strange too, because I've put this one block below ground. And I upgraded to version 85 to ask about this, whether this is a bug or not, or I'm doing something wrong. So, oh yes, well before I start doing that, we will also need some dyes, don't we? So the best way to get dyes is any of these large flowers from Minecraft. So we've got here peony. The peony, you can simply right click it, or left click it. I thought you right click it. Oh, it's just to work on roses. Ah. Oh. No, nope, I haven't got anything in my hand. Let's do this one. Oh. <laughs> that didn't work. Why is that not working? I thought you just right click this with bone meal. Let's just right click it. It worked yesterday. What am I doing wrong? Do you know? I don't know. Oh, is it just. Oh, that I don't understand. Lilac should also work. As I was doing it over here. 
does it depend on the time of year? <laughs> well, <clears throat> is there something wrong with my boat mill? Nope, might die. Oh well, I thought you could just right click it and you get roses in its roses and sunflowers in its, in its place. Never mind. Right, so now the first thing we're going to have a look at before we start this is I've done a bit of landscaping here for the um, took ages <laughs> for the farms. I put up some lanterns and they've got no power. Oh, that's strange. I think it's something I have to sort out my power. Well, I'll do that over the weekend between episodes. So I chopped all of this down. If you remember, there was a great big pile here. Um, and then when I removed it, the wind turbine started to work. <laughs> it suddenly got blades. How about that then? It wasn't working because it was something was just catching on the side. Because it's quite big. And that's a, mine, that's a, that's a forestry button. Cranary speckle. There's quite a few of those around now. They do fertilisation, but the fastest fertilisation for trees are, of course, bees. So let's go and have a look at that. And I think the, the trees are over here. Don't really want to be in water. And as you can see, some of these have been have been uh, pollinated or crossbred. As of course I went past the chickens. So we can take this gra a grafter and we can graft those like that. And we should then get a unknown genome. It's an apple sapling. Is that say apple sapling? And it's on a okay. We'll do the same with this one and this one. And there's a few more over here. I could take the glasses off. You can still see them, but they're not as, as visible. For instance, here's one. So we can put the glasses back on again. You can see it much, much clearer with the, the glasses on. So we can break that one as well. And then we'll put these. I don't think they're going to stack. Oh, yes. They definitely are going to stack. Well, this one did. So we've got silver birch and we've got a silver lime sapling, an apple oak sapling. So let's go and have a look at those in the analyzer. So this is silver birch and that's a, a cross between apple oak, that's to be expected. This is a, a silver lime sapling, so that's a new one because we didn't have silver lime before. And this will be an oak a silver birch cross too. So what we can do with this is then we can plant this down somewhere. We'll just pick a spot. It's going to be further away from the bees so that it doesn't break, cover the bees up. So that's at least three blocks, I think. So we'll do, we'll put it here. I'll let that grow. I think that's far enough away from this tree. No, maybe not. Let's just chop this tree down. Okay, is it night time already? Goodness. Anyway, it's got enough space now to grow, so we'll let that grow. And we'll have a look at that next episode. Now I'm freezing, look at that. <laughs> so I'm going from one state to the other today. From cooking and freezing. So autumn's finished because we're into winter. No more pumpkins. I did some pumpkin harvesting. And I moved the bees. I had to move the other set of bees over here so they could work over that. But I won't do that today because that's not the goal for today so I need to put I need a chest for the stuff I think I've created one where did I put it here so this is for the flowers and I'll put the saplings in there for the time being I'll put the eggs away <coughs> throw them away actually right now it's night time so I'll have a quick sleep and come back in a few seconds Right, so I'm going to put this anvil down because I I was repairing some bows. Got a pretty good bow actually, that one. And this is Feather Falling 4, so I thought, okay. I know I can't take the enchants off, but maybe that's useful at some stage or other. So I'm going to put the bow back, uh, anvil back in the same place as I did before. And I'm going to enchant this with mending. So a grafter and mending. So it's it's got five of nine uses available. Now I'm going to repair it straight away and I found a really quick way to repair this. So if I come over here, it's in my hand isn't it? It can be in my hand or my off hand, I think. 
we'll see. We'll come to our mob farm. I'll turn this on. And you'll see it straight away it's repaired. Look at that. <laughs> so it's completely repaired. And that's I suppose that's the quickest way I found of repairing anything. So I can use this same grafter all the time. It hasn't got much life, but it costs 40 levels to get another one if I another mending book if I need to do that. So I'm gonna put that safely away in here. I could have done the same with that. I didn't realise. I'm not going to need this armor, but I'll take my pickaxe with me. I'll take some lamps with us as well. So we're going to put this down. We're going to have to start making some um, glass. Now I have been crushing some cobblestone, quite a lot of cobblestone, in the crusher. So we'll get that out and we'll make. So this is all now being crushed into gravel. Let's take that out of here and then put it into here, uh, into the hop, into the chest up here. I'll let that come through, and then we'll start getting sand out of this. And that's the easiest way. So it's two stage for for sand in the in that one. So let's find a place to put down the thermionic fabricator. The problem with the thermionic fabricator is it uses power all the time. And I think I'm a bit short of power. I don't think I am short of power, but I reckon I am a bit short of power. Oh, and something else I've noticed. Let's do this. Okay, so there's no target's 15, which is my current temperature, or target 15 of 19. So I'm going to get hot because winter's coming up. So, what I'd like to do is the Mionic Fabricate. I would like to make a breaker from immersive engineering. So, I'll get rid of this lot. Done that. So, what do we have for breakers? A breaker switch and a redstone breaker. I guess that breaks redstone signals, and this is the one we need. So we need one lever, two terracotta, and one copper ringer. We can't do that because we're missing the copper and the lever. We should have certainly levers around. If not, I'll make a quick couple. I've got one or two on me, but copper, we'll take one of those. So we're going to need at least two levers. So let's just take, tell you what we'll do. I'm always using levers, we'll make a stack of levers. Now I should be able to make the breaker. I'm going to put the rest of these levers in here for next time. Hopefully we remember where they are. So I've actually put the, the excess blaze rods in there too. There was eight in, the, in this chest here. I also moved the um, slime sapling. As you can see, it's, it's over there now. Just behind over there. No reason, just except for it, better visibility I wanted. So we're going to put down the thermionic fabricator. We need, obviously, two connectors. Three connectors, I think. I have a hope I've got enough connectors. Usually I haven't. <laughs> One. Not enough. Right, I'll come back in a few seconds when I've made another connector. Right. I made, I've got some LD uh, I made two sets. So let's put this down. Now, how am I going to do this and where am I going to place it? It's a bit crowded around here, isn't it? Let's do it a bit nearer to base and do, do it over this side. Yeah, here I might do. So let's put down the breaker first of all. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, that's an interesting noise. Tell you what we'll do. I don't like it quite so low down. Let's just get a block of wood. And immersive engineering, oh, it's their own. Treated wood planks are definitely the best to have. <laughs> it looks best with the treated wood planks, doesn't it? I've put a treated wood plank down and put the breaker on top of that. So it's got two sides, I noticed, and they've got two connectors, and it goes this way. Oh, now it's turned itself around. You know, I didn't think I wanted um, immersive engineering hammer today, so I put it away. Of course, that was a mistake. Can I rotate this? Yes, I can, good. So we'll put the two connectors on there now. Yep. 
<laughs> I hope that works like that. It looks a bit, looks a bit strange, doesn't it? And I haven't brought the cables either. Brilliant. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll make some more. Nope, I'll have to go and get some cables. Let's put the thermionic fabricator down here. And we need glass for that, so that's okay. So let's put this connector down here. So I should be able to connect that up easily enough. Right, I'll tell you what, I'll go and get the cables uh, and some glass, and I'll see you in a few seconds. Well, I've got the cables and I've got some glass. Took some of the sand that I'd been making and smelted that while I was busy, so that should be able to connect to there. Like that, and that's I think we'll be powering this up. Oh, yeah, that should work. Is that closed or open? Do you know, I'm a bit confused. Yeah. Oh, maybe I need to put the ingredients in first. Let's go and get some ingredients. So tin and redstone is what I need. So I'll just take a half a stack. I'll take a stack of, that's two stacks. I only want uh, one stack of redstone. Let's put this down there like that. So I'll take half a stack of redstone. So now the pattern is the same as ever. So it's a T of I think it's a two, and then two reds don't go like this. But I will check the recipes. Let's have a look at the recipes. So, yes, so we want tin. So it's whatever you do plus that. It's always the same pattern. And let's put some sand into the glass into the top of this. Goes in there like that. Now, what's the problem? No power. Oh, so it hasn't got power. Oh, that's what I'd expect because it's open, isn't it? Still. No RF. Missing liquid resources. Yeah, because it needs glass, basically, liquid glass. But it's because it's got no power, it's got no resources. Why is that not working? <laughs> now, that's another thing. I've, maybe I've connected this to this incorrectly. I'll have to check it out. Let's have a look in the book, first of all. I've got a cache of time with me, so let's have a look at this one. And of course, I'm freezing down here, so let's just walk into the warmth a bit. 20, 32 blocks away from that should make me warm but it's there we go so we want the immersive engineering book which is this one so we'll look for breaker breaker switch the breaker switch is a simple switch that can stop the flow of power through wires they can connect two wires from the same type and will only allow power to pass when activated this can be used to separate power hungry machines from the network or hook up additional sets of generators when needed. So due to high risk they will not accept HV. It will also emit a redstone signal when they are switched on. The behaviour can be inverted by switching the engineer's hammer. Okay. Excellent way to control powered lights. Well it doesn't look very connected, does it? I wonder if I've done it wrong. I'll tell you what, for the time being, let's remove this one here and connect. Let's remove it. Oh, maybe it was connected. Let's just connect this across directly from this powered light to, to see whether or not it's actually, it's actually working the other end of my hand, of course. So now, yeah, now we're getting power. No liquid resources, of course, because we haven't got any liquid resources. The glass has not yet melt, smelted. There you go. Now that disappears, and we've got our four, first four. We're going to need, I think, about 36 of these, but I've forgotten exactly what, how many we need. So, what I'm going to do is just take out what we can 20, and then we're going to turn it off. This is where the breaker would have been great. I wonder if I could have done it differently. I have an idea. Let's put the breaker switch on the machine itself. wonder where to connect the power to let's try it let's remove this a bit dangerous with the lumber axe but you know sometimes risks are worth it let's just try this and I'm freezing it again 
so I've disconnected it so let's see if we can connect this up through here just right clicking is fine by the way so that is currently open isn't it and it says it emits a redstone signal let's have a check whether that's the case or not let's take a piece of redstone put a piece of redstone down here so that is off as you can see yeah. turned it on no power great <laughs> so I don't know how to fix these switches I won't believe it. oh unless I can connect the wire directly to them I haven't tried that did I that would have been that's probably even better yeah. try that with that oh yes that's the way to do it oh that looks much better doesn't it so let's turn it on again oops I can't do that yeah. Now that should disappear. Ah, uh, maybe I've got this wrong. So let's turn this round. No, nope, not that way. I need it to turn around that way. No, no. Ah, I've got it. Let's try it this way then. Hopefully, I'm not going to freeze. No, I'm alright at the moment. So let's put down our block again, as it was. Here. And let's put the switch on top of that. And then put the connector onto the switch onto this. And then put the breaker on here. As you can tell I've never used one of these bins before, have I? So now we should be able to connect that into place. Oh, that one, one of those is already linking isn't it so we connect that to that and that's in the way brilliant so then in that case it's easy fix <laughs> wow let's put it on top use these two this time Again, yeah, good. So this time it's off, yep. now it's on, and then our power goes away. Fantastic, yep. good, right? Figured it out, took me a few seconds, didn't it? But that looks okay, I'm happy with that. So we have our tubes, so with, with these tubes, we can come over here and get warmed up again, of course, and then we can make these farm blocks. So what do we need? Lots of copper and stone bricks. So I think we need 36, didn't we? So let's get 36 stone out of here. In fact, I'll make a stack. We could decorate these. I could actually make, use green ones. And the way you do that, if you look at the uses of this, if we put these into the carpenter, I think, oh, the moistener, we'll get mossy stone bricks. Well, with some wheat, we've got plenty of wheat. We could, we could do it, but it's going to take some time, and I don't really want to spend the episode doing that. So let's just, I might do it for fun actually, some at some stage or other, because I'm probably going to have to make something else that requires stone bricks. So we need copper. I'm running out of copper slowly, so I'll get some more copper over. And eventually, I'd have to go do some uh, resource gathering. Copper and slabs was the other one, wasn't it? And any slab will do. What have we got in here? Treated wood planks, dark wood oak planks. Let's use the dark wood oak. But let's put those back like that. That'll give me 18. Let's go and get some more dark wood oak wood. Which is darker wood. 211. eight it's gonna be an odd number isn't it nine would be a good sensible number and of course it's night time again all right well, we can fix it quickly make these up that'll give me 36 don't want 36 we'll want, we want 72 don't we that should be 72 okay we can craft these into place now so let's get these things crafted up so we can make 20 
and then we run out of tubes okay good I'll come back in a few minutes when when it's daytime right well I've made the others so I've got 36 farm blocks and I did actually check in the book so let's have a quick look at the book multi farms so a small one which is we're going to make is three by three by four so that's 36 I might need some more farm blocks it just tell, tells me here actually space 36 farm blocks so 64 farm blocks for that one which is a large one but we don't that's only a medium one okay so 36 by 36 will do just fine for the starting point but we also need some more bits and pieces for it so what are we going to need so these are all farm blocks here so the next one's going to be a farm gearbox so we need three tin gears so that's 12 pieces of tin let's get that out in fact i'll make six probably should check the recipes before i go and do that let's have a quick look at the other recipes if then we need a new hatch that's five valve six control none okay good so we're going to put your six in so i'll probably make double in that case because we we'll always need double now where is it going to i'm lost <laughs> i'm lost in my own mess right here <laughs> so i have made a gear one same recipe as before just go to the machine put in five steel plates and cutters and you get the right one so we put that in there put that in there so we're going to need four for each so we need 24 so that's basically 16 plus 8 is 24 so we can put the eight tw these 24 into here like this stand back and watch it you'll see what happens is they go they get four up and then it makes a big ingot as you can see and it stamps the beginning it didn't used to do that i don't think i think it used to do put all in four ingots at a time and stamp those and that's the last one so we can go and pick up the, those six Uh, I wanted to make some extra, didn't I? I will not make any extra just now. If I have to make extra, then I'll just take a quick break and make extra. So, the next thing we needed to make was a farm gearbox. We have to make all of these blocks. Then we need a farm hatch, I think. This is basically for getting into and out of the six slabs. We'll make hatches. Of any material, I guess. Oh, this is, where has it gone to? Well, oh, there's a different recipe for that. Do I put my darker wood around somewhere? Treated wood. Treated wood. Ah, here. It's in my inventory. So that should do for the, doing the hatch. Just finding it out. I want the right type of hatch of course so it'll be the first of the hatches I haven't got the first of the hatches which one is it that one huh. that's not working for me maybe it's specific types of trapdoors spruce trapdoors birch trapdoors jungle okay that one Okay, so it should work. Okay, we'll have to put the recipe in manually in that case. So it was, oh, one block. Now the hatch goes down the bottom, doesn't it? And then what was it on the outside of that? Two gears. Nope. <laughs> have I got that wrong? No, that's right. Maybe this top hat doesn't work strange because I'm sure it's already go through. Let's go and get some spruce. Two pieces of spruce logs that will give us eight which should be enough to make some planks. Uh, make a trapdoor. I thought trapdoors were made with some slabs anyway. Unless there's a different type of trapdoor. Let me double check this again because I'm not happy with it. <laughs> What's the express? And it only makes one. Let me have a look at something else. 
Is there a second recipe for trapdoors? I expect the easiest to make it is some, yeah. Oak trapdoors, always safe oak. So let's go and get some oak. I've got plenty of oak. In fact, my chest is actually full of oak, so. That makes six. So now we should be able to make this up. Yes. Well, it's night time. I'll come back in a few seconds. Right, that's done. So the next one is hatches farm valve. I need the right type of farm valve. So it's the first of these, which will be that one. So we've got a farm valve. I think one's for water. And the last component should be a controller or something. Farm valve, farm controller. Yeah, so we need a gold electron tube and two pieces of redstone. So gold is going to be five pieces of gold, isn't it? Two pieces of redstone, just in case I have no space. Brilliant. Oh, got a lot, too much tin. Let's put the tin away. Turn this, turn this on. So this time we're going to have to do... Hopefully I haven't got rid of my glass, which of course I have. <laughs> Typical. I only picked up one piece of red, so, and i got to get the glass as well. Now the glass will be, should, um, be in here. One piece will do just fine. I don't think it disappears, but maybe it does. Let's take um, pain. a couple of paints. I think one, two paints will do the trick. Get another piece of redstone. It does disappear. Okay, so when it gets cold, the glass disappears. Ah, uh, tin. What happened there? That's not right. Oh, that was strange. Let's get some more glass in that case. It looks like it's at least uh, a pain or so. We'll do it that way. That I'm puzzled about. Hopefully, it's not showing me the recipe here, but that's not unusual, is it? Have I got that wrong? Oh yes, I have. No. So look, gold recipe, gold electron tubes. I'm sure, everything's the same pattern. I don't see it straight away. What I'm going to do is, have I got the right one, or is it a bronze electron tube? I'm sure it's gold. Arm valve controller. How much? Five hundred. We'll make four. Oh, silly me. I forgot to put the other piece in, didn't I? So there's one bucket's worth in there. In fact, I'll tell you what I'll do. I have a pet somewhere. I think it's in one of these two chests. If it's not, I can make a quick pipette and see if I can actually suck up that liquid gold and uh, liquid glass into there. It's not that it's very expensive, but uh, pipette. There we go. What's that piece of wool? And two sticks. One piece of wool. Uh, of course, that's going through. <laughs> Did you notice that? Probably fell into the hopper. So I've got um, too much glass in here. Let's get rid of the glass. So I need two sticks. So maybe I can do it on here. Let's see if we can do it. Oh, we can, of course, yes. So let's see if we can actually suck up this glass from in here. Yep, good. So that's now got one bucket worth of molten glass, so we can turn this off now. Yeah. And then that would glass would have disappeared, so we can just uh, leave the glass around there. In fact, what I'll do is I'll put it in the thymionic fabricator, then we know where it is. Like that. 
a bit weird those tin ones, I don't know where they came from, I must be honest with you. So we needed one of those, two pieces of redstone. And then we should be able to make the, f the last of these components, which is the farm control. Farm control. Great. So I'm going to have to f put my forestry stuff in a chest somewhere. We'll put it in here. And the tin ones went in here, so let's put those in there as well. So and now I've got enough bits and pieces for doing this. I'll get rid of these. Maybe I do need the stone bricks actually. I think we do need stone bricks. How many bricks did it tell we needed in the book? Farmland. We want to go back. 126. And I think we need to put 126 bricks down for the for the dirt to go on top of. So we need 126, which is just short of two stacks. Two stacks being 128. What have I got with me? 20. Eight. Okay, I'll go ahead and get two stacks of this out and craft this up into bricks. We're going to need 64, and then we're going to need 100 and I want 28, so we need 62 of these. This is an easy way to count. I don't know, 62 didn't work, so I'll have to take 64 and we'll put the rest of this stuff back. Now, the farm. What I'm going to do with the farm is I'm going to set it up uh, and then show you once it's set up. Because it's a relatively time intensive process, but I'll show you over here first of all. As you can see, this is the bit I flattened. It took a long time, I can tell you. And this was the, this is the original the source of the river. I didn't actually break it down. I did start doing it lower. So we need to have this somewhere. And I'm going to power this. I decided I'm going to power it with some um, <clears throat> thermoelectric generators. So I've got the bits and pieces prepared for that. Now, so they were, and that they could go underneath. And I'm not sure how much power we need. So what is the farmland? It's 127. So I'm not, to be honest with you, I'm not, I think it's, let me have a check that board. Is it tell me the area? 17 by 17. Okay. Now 17 by 17. Let's start here. How am I going to do this? Let's break this block. Because I've got to put another one down again. If I've got any space in my inventory. And of course I've got some picked up some seeds as I was messing around. So let's just get rid of what we can. I want the dirt with me, don't I? I don't know. I've got that trapdoor as well. Okay. So 17. So that's one. Let's try again. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There. Well, it looks like it's just going to be big enough. <laughs> so we come to them, but I might not be far enough away here. Let's break the middle of this. It's probably around about here. Let's count it. So half of 18 is 9. So we start off here. 1. there so that'll be the middle so we need to go back nine places here i think it's there i'm not 100 percent sure uh, but we'll do that that'll do anyway so what i'm going to do is i'm going to dig down here and it needs to be three by i'm going to do it fast way <laughs> i'm not going to use the the first manual for doing this will take too long. So I've got to dig down here and enough space to make that. In fact, I'm a bit cold. So what I'm going to do is I'll prepare this space and come back in a few minutes. Oh, I think that's done. I'm not sure if it's 100% symmetrical, but that's, another, that's what you can tell. That's a, a forestry butterfly, by the way, because it's low. And it doesn't move, and I get close to it. You should be able to see it, but never mind. I'm not doing that today. So we need to actually assemble a farm. I should bring the chest with me now. So I've got some more bits and pieces. Let's get rid of what we don't need in here. And we want this lot. It's been a while. I have to be honest with you, I forgot. <laughs> sort of semi forgot how to do this. But we'll start at the top. I know that the top layer wants to be farm bricks. So I'm going to put down one here just because I need up some placing blocks. So let's just put that down and pick up the others. I 
and this is where the dirt goes I think at this level so this should all be filled up with dirt when we're finished it got a bit cold so I had to because it's middle of winter now <laughs> so we can then put down I think I might have got this right but I don't think it matters too much where the blocks go the control blocks but I generally like them um, around about this layer so let's put them down now just hoping I've got enough stuff I must have I think it's four blocks down isn't it so let's put down what we've we got here the hatch now the hatch for, is for putting stuff into and out of the farm so let's put that down there and that's that's the valve that's for water the hatch is that one and the control will put down here like that and then the last block of this lot is the oh farm controller that's the farm I must put that in the wrong place wants to be here like that and then we can fill it in Have a look, see so actually I've done I've got nine, yes that looks right. In the way. Now I've got that right, it should change. It must be three by four by three. Oh right, I need to go down another layer. No? That's right. Okay, so it's we've done it. So we've actually built the farm. So what I've now got to do is to make the circuit board and get onto that an obsidian. Um, we also need some fertiliser, it's not obsidian tubes is what I was trying to think of. So I'll tell you what, I'll go and prepare that and come back in a second. Well I'm running a bit long today, I've already done 40 minutes, but what we, there are a few things I would like to do, uh, if you don't, if you if you're able to watch with me. So fertilizer, we need fertilizer. The recipe for fertilizer, get that right. I used this one because I've already got some ash from a dungeon chest, I think I got it from. And we've got appetite, that we've seen that. It was um, in the extreme health, but we have to make a soldering iron first of all. So a soldering iron, we've got recipes in here, yes we have, good. No, bad, <laughs> is this recipe. So we should be able to click that into place, good. And that, we need one bronze and three pieces of iron. And how much water do we need? One bucket. Okay, unfortunately I've got one bucket. I need to go and get some more water. Uh, it's going to be a bit of a challenge actually because it's all frozen up. But here's a, here's a source. Let's just break this. Oh, what did I use? Hammer. Oh, brilliant. <laughs> Didn't know that. We'll get a couple of buckets of water while we're here. In fact, I might have some more in my backpack. Let's have a look. Yes, I've got two more. Probably need them all. We can certainly fill up the carpenter, but this is the, the one that we're going to use for water anyway. So let's put this down like this and fill it up. We're going to have to make a circuit board. And I'm, there's two types of circuit boards we can make. right click those on that and it fills it up so we've got four buckets worth so the soldering iron should be made the next thing we can make is a um, circuit so there's two different types of circuit uh, that we I would use I think probably I, I think I just want to use the basic one so we can shift click that into there and then put in the ingredients basically there's six redstone and the other one would be integrated so the one I tend to pick because that allows four different types of items to be to be fitted onto it four different tubes I've got four obsidian tubes but they ain't too expensive so I'm not too bothered if I, if I waste one so what we do now is we take the soldering iron here and right click it so we basically put this tube in where has it gone to we need to get to the right one so we need automatic farm I think so I put that in second we put in the tubes first where did it go to missing board yes I need the board but I need to put in a tube manage peat bog now does that allow me to put do you know I don't know whether that works we'll just try and see what happens no layouts found so uh, maybe I yeah that just does then 
a managed peak bug. I might need to do it the other way around. Doesn't matter if I do, I can always come and sort it out later on. And the other thing I'm going to need is an infinite water supply, which is easy enough because it's covered for one thing. And we're also going to um, pump. Now I'm going to have to make the pump. I probably won't finish this off today because there's still a few steps to go. And power. That's the other thing I need to do. So let's put this board into place in first of all. So come along here and then we just put the board into place. There. Ah, then it says it's peak, managed peak book pump. So I do really want the other one. Tell you what, to get this off again, the easiest way to do it is to take the take the soldering iron and then click it out and you've got the you've got this back again. Soldering takes damage but of course we can put mending on it if I wanted to but it's fairly cheap anyway. So what I'm going to do is I'll come back with the integrated circuit board. So I'll see you in a second. Well I think I've got everything I need so let's put that into there. We should have peat bog on all sides. Good. So now it tells us we've got no power. So we need to put onto the that's the farm gearbox. That's the valve. That's the control. And that's the hatch. And I think I need to put the power anywhere. So I have got with me some thermoelectric generators. So we're going to put some of this down. I'm going to start with ice on these two bottom corners here. And we're going to put one down thermo generator here. And then we're going to put beside that two blocks of um, uranium. So I'm probably going to need to go mine some more uranium and then we can put down I'm going to do it this side I think so we'll, put, we'll maybe do it both sides so I'm going to put down a second one of these like that and then I'm going to put ice on this side here again like that it's a bit dark because I've put this down never mind I'll just put down a, a lantern for the time being so now what we have to do here is to put down another block of uranium. I should be sensible if I put it in my hands, wouldn't it? We've got another block of uranium here. Nope. <laughs> Nearly right. And then we can put down another one of these, one of those, and one of these. And those should all be sort of maxed out so to speak we can also do it in this direction as well so maybe I'll take another one over here put another piece of ice down there put it you know that covered it over of course put another one of these here and then we can put another block of uranium here like that so they should all these four and then the next one I'll put down it will be here and we'll put down two blocks of ice beside it and so on and so forth of course then I can put down another one here like that and carry on so we just need a block of ice on that side and then that's maxed now oops put it down like that pick up the ice I'll have to use some oops that was a bit fast wasn't it silk touch so now we can put some give this thing some power so I think I probably should use a relay and bring everything to a relay but for the time being I'm just going to put one or two of these connect one or two of these up like this I probably won't do that one at the back and maybe I put a relay at the top here and then bring it down but I'll make that decision as we come to it first of all I'm just going to put one on see if it works see if we've got power probably haven't got enough power to start with let's right click that onto there and maybe we do the other one over here as well. Put another connector down. If I've got another connector, I've got seven. And then we're using medium voltage connectors. Now, does that tell me we've got power now? Let's have a look at this. Not no power. Have I put it on the right bit? I'm sure this is the on-off switch. Maybe it's this gearbox I forgot to replace. So let's just dig the gearbox out. 
it's been a while <laughs> I can tell you since I've done the farm since I've done the farm it's been quite a long time so let's get rid of that one and therefore I would have to use a relay gearbox I think it is where the power comes in is to gearboxes so let's just remove that put this one into its place here connect it up so it's not going to work until I put the other piece back but I know that like that and then we'll put in the last the, the hatch here no fertilizer no water that's fine the so water <laughs> hopefully I've got enough space this is the valve and I'm not exactly sure I'm going to, how I'm going to do this because I was before I've always used single block things so we need a four oh well we can do a three by three in this case so what I'm not sure about is the pump now if I put in I haven't got any water with me because I put it all in the other thing so I can get some water and come back in a second right I've got some water and I put it into here um what I'm puzzled about is the pump do I have to put the pump in the water so let's just try it. I'm not sure it's going to work. No, I don't think I'm happy with that. Because that's going to split these two pads, pipes up and they're not going to become 100%. So maybe it'll do here. Let's just try it anyway. I'm burning. So let's just turn this off. So we want to take the pipes, I've got some pipes with me as well. Hopefully this will work. No water. So I've got a feeling that, the, oh, I need, of course I need to say which side is input. So I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's, do, let's break it out here a little bit. Take this bucket out, out of here. Put that in here. That might be what we need to do. And so then we say on this side, the opposite side of this is input. Uh, and yes, okay. I think we can do that. Did I bring my hammer with me? Yes, fortunately. So I shift right click this one, no connection, input. So on this side here, hopefully we can do it. That'll be the, that'll be the base. So I have to break this block down. I'll tell you what, I'll do it this way. Let's just break this one, and we can say on this one it's the output, like that. So it's orange. Now, does that work? Not so far. <laughs> That's a nuisance. I wonder if I have to have a pipe into this. If I do that, then it'll break the. I'll we'll just try it anyway. No. Oh, it does have another. It does have another device. This doesn't take much of engineering. It has some. And it's not documented very well. I get rid of all this stuff because I don't need any of this at the moment. Uh, I think it's this thing here fluid outlet well I have to go and make one of those and come back in a second and I'm sorry I'm running over my time quite a lot today right I have made a fluid outlet uh, I'm not sure if that's an inlet as or just an outlet oh look that's got an input face which we'll put it can we change that I think I'm rotating it. Yes. Yes, so it's only an output, so it would just output fluid. Okay, that's not what I want. I want to be able to get fluid into this. Hmm. But you know, I don't know how to do it. I'm going to be honest. I'm going to have to do some research. Um, 
hopefully it's possible because <laughs> if it's not I'm a bit stuck we will need to put some inputs into here uh, and I've got to have to figure out how to do that water I'll tell you what we can do for the time being we can bucket some water into here can't I can I put it in like that ah bucket good now it's going to tell us what we can what else we need now, that won't be enough for any by any means but we should get a problem now normal hydration required that's good a manual farm no it's not a manual farm so I just think we need some dirt no I've got dirt so let's put some dirt into this no oh it's not dirt I want it's uh, peat bog isn't it so I need a moistener so I think we'll do that next episode so until then I wish you all the best and hopefully I can figure out the pump as well bye for now